everybody, it's Plush Boy Q here, back with another Jurassic World review, and I'm in a new reviewing place. This is my basement. I've never really done stuff down here before because I'm scared of the basement, but now I'm no longer scared of it because we we cleaned it off. This review, we're going to be reviewing the six pack of 12 inch basic figures. It's available on Kohl's.com. I will try to provide a link below for this set. It includes a, another, a repack of the Dilophosaurus, Power Raptor, and Green Tranodon, while Panthera and Tiger are all new figures. I don't have the Owen, so I guess it's a decent win. There's the barcode. Here's the other one. Here's the back of the box. Alright, now before we open the box, I just want to say that Andy's Dinosaur Review has beat me to it. So, shout out to him. I don't think Collect Jurassic has reviewed this item yet, but he probably will very soon. I gotta find a way to... There, we open that box. I think we only need to open up one side. And then the rest, we just slide that out. Oh! Panther's tail fell off. So, the, the Dilophosaurus, Power Raptor, and Pteranodon, I will not review because, I mean, I'm off... I've already reviewed them before, so why review the exact same figure again, right? I almost put the Dilos, uh, t the Pyrus tail on the Dilophosaurus. It's nice to have another Pyroraptor, but it's also nice to have brand new. Come on. I'm just putting the tails on the figures so I don't forget to do them later. Okay, we're going to review Panther first. So, alright. There is simply a, a very simple assembly. You put the tail on like that. You hear a click and it's in. Alright, Panther looks pretty good. The sculpt on the Atrociraptors are good. Um, the first thing I noticed is that, the, I mean, it's, it looks just like the other Pantheras, but the, the, the eye is casted in a, yeah, is the, the eye, the, the iris part is yellow, but it looks alright, but the pupil is brown, and it's the same brown as the rest of the striping. Um, you have some, like a, uh, what is it? Like a banana brown going all the way down the body. Stopping right here at the base of the tail. And the, the, the fade is pretty bad. The arms are painted with, are casted in the banana brown color. Yellow and so are the legs. And they did the, the transition from here to here. They did a very good job in my opinion. You have some simple brown patterning around the face like so. Got some around the eye and the nose and then the back of the neck going all the way down. You get the double stripe there. Um, claws are not painted, unfortunately, but that's what you get for basic value figures. So I guess buy them. Buy the main one. It's better. Um, the tail has no paint on it, and it can kind of move around a little bit like that. Um, the, the the feet can swivel and rotate around like that. Um, the toe claws are not painted. There's no scan coat on this. All right, let's take a look at um, Owen. I will review Owen in a little bit, but I will review him. Um, let's take a look at Tiger first. Now nah, let's do Owen real quick. I'm sorry. So Owen's pretty tall. He'd go well with your Barbie dolls. 
or, or your sister's Barbie dolls or whatever. So he's got his head's like a softer plastic. The paint on the head looks pretty good to me. The eyes are painted blue. His head can move around like that. And they can kind of go down like that. His arms can go out and in like that. And so can his elbows and go like forward and backwards. And his hands can rotate. Um, same thing goes to other ones. Um, his waist can move, swivel. Um, his, his legs go out and in. His knees can swivel. And they can go back like that so he can do the splits if he wanted to. There you go. And his feet do not move. Uh, he's got a nice blue shirt on with a brown vest, a brown belt that's a bit darker than the vest, and he's got jeans on. Alright, hold on, let me stand him up. Alright, this is kind of hard to stand, but then not really. He doesn't have any holes on his foot, and he's actually missing his knife, which I kind of get why they did that. Hold on, I'm just standing all the dinosaurs up. Panthera doesn't stand up too well. Alright, now let's take a look at um, Tiger. Tiger is quite rare as a toy, and so is Panthera. Um, we definitely did get Panthera a couple times. She has... Two releases, one in the Owen Escape Pack and the second in the Ferocious Pack. They are both a bit different than each other, so I will be getting the other Panthera. Okay, Tiger. Again, the eyes are not painted very well. Tiger is painted in like a burnt hot dog style brown. And she got like a chalk colored white down here. The arms are casted in that white. And then the, the white stops here, and then the rest of the body is the brown. She has the striping t down to just before her hips, and she's got that patterning around her face like so. And, yeah, the only I should say that the jaws do not articulate on these. So, except the pteranodon. The pteranodon's mouth can open. Um, the tail has no paint. The only thing I'd like to have seen is maybe more striping down maybe to here. That's about it. I mean, that's all I really want is better top paint than bottom paint. And then the Pteranodon is the same. It's had a few releases before. Tiger does stand, just not right there. Alright. So with the, tr the pteranodons, you gotta put the wings on like that. I've reviewed this pteranodon a few times before, so I'm not, well, I've only done it once. I have, I think, one more of these upstairs. See, the mouth can open and the wings can, oh, whoop, whoop, there goes the wings. All right, there you go. The feet can move. Yep, there you go. And the head can also move. There you go. Also, you got a pretty cool backdrop here. I mean, this thing is freaking huge. So, I would definitely... I'm definitely keeping the backdrop. So, just to show you an idea... Owen is really tall. Like, the, this Tyrannodon is about as big as the Amber Collection one. And it goes about there. And the Atrociraptors go to here. Speaking of Atrociraptors, I got the other two. Yes, you heard me. I have the other two, which you probably don't give a shit. Oh, I'm trying to think. Tiger's over here.
there you have it. The other, uh, the other two Atros the Raptors. I did a review on Ghost way back in April, right when I got it, and I did a review on Red probably in early July because I got it with the Edmontosaurus as well. So if you want to check those out, they are in the Jurassic World Dominion and Jurassic World playlist. Which I will leave. Well, it's not hard to get to that playlist. You guys, I'm sure you guys can do it. So, yeah, I love you guys so much. Uh, we're getting awfully close to 1,200 subscribers. If we can get that by maybe September 1st, that'd be really much appreciated. Um, I should probably put these side by side for you guys. So, I will try to leave a link in the description box below on where to get this pack. It's about $60 American dollars. So, it's available on Kohl's.com. I, yeah, I, I'll leave a link for you guys in the description. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video. It'll probably be a scam baiting video, but... The next review I probably might do is probably the Cop to Clash, maybe the Legacy Gallimimus, or maybe even the two new Extreme Damage figures. Alright, but the next video will most likely be a scam baiting video. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Do leave your comments, thoughts, and opinions down below. Any questions, leave them there. Also, Please don't get religious in my comment sections anymore. I'm really getting sick and tired of it, and it's getting fucking old. If you want to talk about religion, go do it somewhere else. Because I will remove you from the channel. Actually, what I'll do is, first strike, I'll tell you to stop. And you don't do it again, I'll take down your comment. And you continue to do it, I'll block you from the channel. I'm being nice. Love you guys. Peace.